It was such a simple question, and yet it was profound. The question came from a heart of true friendship and care. And what made this simple question so profound? Well, it was the context in which it was asked. First, the question, what can I do to help you? Next, the context. This is the question that Jonathan asked David in 1 Samuel 20. Perhaps in ordinary situations, Jonathan's question might be seen as polite and in line with common cultural courtesy, but when considering the context, there is a true friendship that is being revealed in this question. For as the saying goes, a friend in need is a friend indeed. You see, the context is David's need for safety. His life is endangered because of the jealousy and thirst for controlling power of King Saul. And it is this question that confirms that Jonathan is not simply just a companion to David. He is a true friend. Jonathan is not going to be a spectator seated in the arena of David's life. Instead, Jonathan shows up on the field to be there with David in full participation. It certainly would have been much easier for Jonathan to give an opinion rather than his participation, especially since the person threatening David, King Saul, was not only Jonathan's king, he was also Jonathan's father. Jonathan could have expounded upon his own views as to why such a situation was happening to David. He could have blamed David. David, you deserve this. If you would have stayed home that day instead of showing up to kill Goliath, you probably wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Or he could have used judgment. David, your life around here is over. It's time for you to move on, go back to being a shepherd. You're good at that. Or third, an excuse. David, you just need to understand that my dad, he, he means well. But Jonathan moves to stand with David when he asks, What can I do to help you? Yes, a friend loves at all times. Yes, a friend will be closer than those with family ties. A friend in time of need will stand and defend even when the arrows begin to fly. Do you have such a friend in your life? Well, in Jesus, you do. There is no greater friend than Jesus. In the context of our great need of salvation, Jesus asks, what can I do to help? And the answer from every sinner is, please forgive and save me. And Jesus He sticks closer than any brother, sister, father, or mother. Jesus is a friend to sinners. He certainly could have made it cleaner and easier on himself to only explain to us how our choices have gotten us in this clear and present danger, but he knew that wouldn't be enough help. He could have just washed his hands of us, judged us, and watched us serve out our time in punishment, but his heart of love for us couldn't let us go. He could have turned the other way and acted like he didn't see any of it. He could have patronized us by recognizing our feeble efforts to try, but that would have been the same as leaving us in our sin. Instead, he walked to the cross for sinners. He paid the full price of our sin, the sin of others, and the consequences of this broken world. And he beats death and gives us safety from our sins. And he walks with us daily, having given us his Holy Spirit, who is always present, to remind, teach, and guide us. The question is simple. What can I do to help? Every day our need is met by a friend indeed. Jesus is that friend indeed. With such a friend in Jesus, you can be such a friend to others. And this is what it means to be a follower of Jesus. Following Jesus, being changed by Jesus, and being committed to the mission of Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for being a friend, especially to our need. We were great in need for salvation and saving, and you went to the cross to save us. We thank you for the salvation that you've given us and for the friendship that now you have purchased and won for us. That You no longer just call us servants, but you call us your friends. And now help us to be a friend to others who are in need. Thank you for that salvation and the opportunity to share it with others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.